hi guys welcome back to my channel so today it's more like an updated video on what i'm using on my son's skin for his eczema yes i know it's been like what two two and a half years since i posted that video so the things that i'm using on his skin is working very well and also clearing up the darkness from what the eczema leave behind you do not get a lot of flare up at all so i'm gonna go ahead and put everything that i'm using down in the description box and also the video that i posted the two years ago is also going to be down in the description box or you guys can check it up above here so you all can see a huge difference in the skin guys I know you are like you before and after videos and pictures so here we go you all can see how dark his back was his neck he do get some flare up now and then but not like before and um the neck is taking a long time to clear up guys but i'm do working on it but you all can see the difference in his back right and you're gonna see his leg too like it's a huge difference see he's even showing you guys you all this little boy won't even hold his head he just want to say hi to you guys he's spinning he's turning he's like hi guys hi <laughs> so you guys see his hand and yes he's like a spider-man and like he chip come from school with a different chip everywhere so this is his back guys you can see the difference there was a lot of flake like there was a lot of flakes on his uh, belly and his back um, from the eczema he used to itch him a lot and he do not have that problem no more and from you guys seeing from the before and after video that I show you guys um, okay there we go you guys see that he barely hitch and the dark mark is what I'm saying the thing that I'm using I just recently start use it um, since here this here so um it's not itching him as much as before, but as what I say, you do get flare up now and then. And just to let you guys know, I did not put anything on his skin this morning for school because I wanted to do this video. But you guys, usually when I don't do this, you, um, you come home with his skin looking just a little hashy, but you know no flare up or nothing it doesn't hit him so i use the vaseline alongside the aloe vera i just rub the aloe vera on his skin and then rub the vaseline um i use the aloe vera plant but i just find this on amazon as what i said i start using everything that i'm going to show you guys um since this here um i find this on amazon i'm going to find the links and put it down in the description box for this aloe vera here um if you guys do not have the vaseline this ultra healing do works as well um you're gonna see how i put it on his skin so you guys see them vaseline lotion those are the go-to for me now this is what i mix and put on his skin i also use it for my skin as well because i used to have flaky foot back in jamaica they call it um um scaly foot scaly foot <laughs> yes so see i bring it up close so you guys can see so all you do you just put a little as what i say a little go a long way you just put a little bit of the vaseline in your hand and a little bit of the aloe vera gel you're gonna go ahead and mix them up together as and remember guys if you do not have this aloe vera here in the jar um this one is good if you do not have the aloe vera in a jar you can go ahead and use the plant the aloe vera plant just rub it on your child's skin and then you go ahead and use the lotion or the vaseline any one you have and rub it after you rub the aloe vera on so you just go ahead and you rub it all over your child's skin or your skin as what i said this i use for my scaly foot my flaky foot whatever you guys call it and i do not have i barely even use lotion nowadays i barely use lotion so after i go ahead and rub it on the skin i do this two times a day guys I do it in the morning and i do it in the night and as what I say, I did not use nothing on the skin this morning because I want you guys to see how his skin is looking without me using any of this on his skin. And you do not get in flare up or anything. So you just go ahead and you rub it all over your child skin, the affected area. And whatever I leave on my hand, I just go ahead and I rub it on his face guys he do not like the taste of the aloe vera if it was my younger daughter she wouldn't have a problem if she likes aloe vera she eat the raw aloe vera just like that Let but me he explain do not like it the difference see how he bowl his lips. <laughs> when i was using the vaseline 
and the aloe vera plant by itself he do not get a lot of flare up but the only thing is the dark marks around his neck and his back it wasn't clearing up as fast as how i wanted to then i switch and start using the um aloe vera with the um, ultra healing i start to see a little difference but sometimes i do switch and use the vaseline in between then i switch over to the vaseline that's the lotion um the essential healing and i see a huge difference in the skin so you guys can try that but when i switch to that i see a huge difference in the skin the skin start to clear up not much flare up so um as what i say guys if you do not have the aloe vera plant you can use the vaseline and this aloe vera if you do not have the vaseline you can go ahead and use this ultra healing and the aloe vera you can use the aloe vera plant if you do not have this aloe vera if you can't find this one but guys this is what i use this on my skin this is the one that i use on my skin the essential healing is what i use on his skin it love his skin so much guys you all can see the difference but that's what i say if you cannot find that you can find the ultra healing and this is how the aloe vera is looking <laughs> Yeah, and as what I say, a little go a long way because remember you're using some lotion or you're using the, the Vaseline along with the aloe vera. So a little bit of everything go a long way. You guys do not have to use a lot. Um, everything is going to be done in the description box for you guys. So this is what I'm using on my boy's skin right now. This is what is clearing up his skin. but i use the cocoa on my skin and uh, sometimes when i use it like for example i use it yesterday and i take a bath this morning and i don't use nothing on my foot um my foot don't get scaly it don't get white i do not see the white flakes on my foot <laughs> back in jamaica they call it scaly foot guys that's why i keep on saying scaly so um these are everything that i'm using was and still using on my son's skin using on my skin as well this is what i'm using on his skin so try and see what works for your skin and your child's skin i only hope this video was helpful as what i say if you guys can find this aloe vera here you can use the aloe vera plant you can get it at walmart your local supermarket or anywhere that you can find aloe vera guys um thank you guys so much for watching as what i say i hope this was helpful for you guys and if you're not yet subscribed, please I'm asking you subscribe and turn the notification bell on. So whenever I upload a video, you guys can get notified. Don't forget to like and share and leave me a comment. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.